You know, it's important that I do this broadcast tonight on this topic because there's a situation going on amongst black people in America and worldwide. It's very serious. Um, we're having a, a little bit of a difficulty here. Uh, can everyone hear me? Testing one, two, testing one, two. Can everyone hear me? People reply in the chat room by saying yes. Uh-oh. Connecting server. Can everyone hear me? Having a little bit of a problem. Make sure we connect it right. Okay. All right. Can everyone hear me? Everyone say yes, please. All right. Just want to make sure. All right. Okay. We're coming in clear. All right. Um, as I said, there's a reason why I'm doing this broadcast tonight concerning um. God and the uh you know the idea the concept that he comes from mankind right be it the white man be it the uh Asian man East Indian man the black man because this is serious you know a lot of our people have this mentality now where a lot of them are turning up and saying that there is no God right this is what not we're getting from our people they're saying there is no God the black man is saying three things. He's either saying, and the black man and the black woman, they either say there is no God, they're saying that God is the concept of the white man, right? Or that God is a spook or a spirit or Jesus Christ. They do that in religion, right? And I said that, or, oh, no, that was the fourth thing, they're saying they're God, right? Now, um, I at one point subscribed to that whole idea of man being God. What I do acknowledge is that man and woman are a part of God or an extension of God, not God. That's like being in the army and saying instead of that you're a part of the army or that you're uh, in the army or an extension of the army as a member, you are the army. You are not the army. You are a part of the army, just as the black man and black woman are an extension or a part of God. Thus makes you God by association. But it doesn't make you God if you are not doing the works of God. If you are not doing the supreme works of God. If you are not in tune by way of the intelligence of God. If you are not doing that which God is sending through as instruction for his people to get. If you are not doing that, if you are not coming together in the collective of God, then you are not a part of God. You are not God. You can't tell me that you're God and you're doing the same things as everybody else out here because everybody else is not part of God. All right, let's get that straight first and foremost. The majority of the people don't follow God on the planet. They follow man. And God, true and living God, Amen, the supreme intelligent being, the person who walked in physical form as a bright man who evolved from a black man, he knew or he said that his people would be the ones who would be in tune with him. God did not say that or come for the whole world or came to send intelligence to the whole world. He allowed man to govern the world through him. Right? He, he used man because he knew that a lot of our people would fall under the submission of man. He used man to set up governments, to set up uh, uh, houses of worship, right? In their image and after their likeness, which is what they did in the religions of Christianity, Islam, Judaism, Buddhism. They set up religions in the names of men, not in the name of God, right? Because no one knows who God is. So how can you set up a religion in the name of God? You get all kinds of abstract and mysterious answers about God when you ask um, the the average person, especially our people now, right? We were more on the track when we started saying, when the Honorable Elijah Muhammad came and started talking about the black man is God. But he's supposed to be in tune with God, in connection with God, right? He's supposed to acknowledge God as a man that is constantly moving into the future. This is what we teach in the state of mental, 
and that we are supposed to be after the order of God. But the black man, like I said, he has been taught through his own ego to abandon the reality of God. He now says God is not a reality. He says that God is a concept, which he got that way of thinking is heavily circulated in the so-called conscious community. Right? And this idea or concept that they have that God is a concept of man, that man created the idea of God, a.k.a. the white man, which is what they say now, God is a concept of the white man, it is, in fact, you know, they got that idea from the white man. That idea, that idea, that concept makes no sense whatsoever. How can you say God is a concept of man? If you say God is a concept of man, and I'm going to ask you, where did everything else, where did everything come from? Right? Man didn't create all of this. Man didn't create any solar systems. Man didn't create, or, or the man that you're talking about, the white man who came up with the concept of God, right? Man didn't create any solar systems, not modern-day man, not past man. Didn't create any solar system, didn't create any planets, didn't create human life, right? What man did that? And if you say the black man is God and he did that, then do it again. Or, like I said, because now the big answer is that they say, well, we once had that knowledge, but we forgot. How does God forget? Then you're not God. How does God go under the control of other people who you call the devil or lesser or weaker people? How do you go under control to these people right? if you're God? If you are God as you are now in this um, pr um, in this present day existence, like the 5% of say they God, everybody God. If you're God in this present day existence, then why are you under the white man? Why are you following his laws? Why are you not making laws and passing judgment like God? That's my answer to you. Then I want to ask you, who, if you created everything in the solar system, if you created the solar system, the earth, the planets, the stars, the moon, everything else, then that's and and you you know that's supposed to be nothing for God to do. Do something much simpler. Get your people out of the condition they're in. If you God, you got these niggas sitting up in jail. Talking about lifetime, talking about they God in jail. In somebody's jail, in some man's jail, a white man, who they say is the devil, they sit in his jail talking about, they're still talking about they gods. Right? They'll sit up there to the dying day calling themselves gods because it's just feeding their ego. Right? It's just something they like to tell themselves because they know the reality of it is that they're nothing. They're nothing. They become nothing because they disconnected themselves from God. They denied the true source. Of power, the true source of intelligence, which is the true and living God, Amen. How do I know that the true and living God's name is Amen and that He is the true source of power and intelligence? Simple. When we were in ancient Egypt, when we in, were in Nubia, when we were in power, we said the name Amen as God, the supreme being, the supreme power. We referred to those beings who came with Him in, in Egypt as Netiru. And in Sumeria as Anunnaki, right? So these uh, when the when the uh, Greeks and the Romans end up the Greeks and the Romans end up coming over to our lands, they took our uh, uh, intelligence on God and made God in their image. They learned about God from us. They learned about the supreme being from us. Right, and there was a time where the Greeks, Alexander, the, uh, Alexander the um, Great, and all these people, they were saying Amen. They was they were carving pictures of themselves on the walls in Egypt and saying that they were in tune with Amen, that they were pharaohs. Right, so they took the idea of Amen all the way up into religion, and they kept that name Amen all the way up into today, where your Masons who say in God we trust are talking about Amen, not Jesus, not Allah, not Jehovah, not Yahweh Shah, whatever the Israelites say. No, they're talking about Amen. And they're in power. So you see the correlation? The people who structure themselves in a government, in a collective, in a union, in a movement, they come under the power, in tune with the power of God, Amen. And 
he strengthens their structure as long as they are following his laws and his bylaws and his codes of conduct. As long as they are following in the name of or after the order of Amun, they will stay in power. He will guide them. Right? Like I said, our people stop being in tune with God. We cut our connection because we wanted to follow the concepts of man. The black, these, these Negroes in the conscious community, they funny because they'll sit up here and say that, oh, God is not real. How, how is God a concept? You know, they say the white man is the devil and God is a concept of his, but then they follow metaphysics. Metaphysics is a con- is that that's the philosophy of the white man, the Greeks. They refer to that as first philosophy in ancient Greece, right? They call it something else I forgot, but that's metaphysics. Metaphysics is not new. That's an old philosophy. What are philosophies? Philosophies are ideas or what they call educated guesses, which is no such thing as an educated guess, right? They call these are guesses or uh, uh, assumptions made by people who are trying to come up with theories and ideas on how things work. And nine times out of ten, they're wrong, right? But this is metaphysics. Metaphysics teaches, like I said, which is really another form of religion, because it teaches that certain events took place via uh, explosions and, uh, uh, you know, uh, things crashing into each other, things imploding and bringing about life and structure and order and things like that on earth. This is what they teach, right, in metaphysics, yet they teach that there's no engineer that made that happen. That makes no sense whatsoever. All order, all order comes from someone putting it in place, a higher mind, a higher intelligence. Like I said, the people that say that God is a concept, that that's, that's not real, that there is no God, that's from the white man when he was teaching that whole uh, atheist mindset mentality. Now, I understand why people calling themselves atheists, they just, all that means is a person who is against the theory or the concept of God as the white man and other organized religions have given it. That's what they're talking about. They're against their theory of God. But the, the truth of God as a man, as a thinking man, as an intelligent man, is a reality. You can't deny it. You might not like it. You might not say, oh, I don't believe it. I don't care what you believe. Your beliefs are made up of lies. Your philosophy is alive. Your the thing that you uh, people in the so-called conscious community get from these books on metaphysics and the Big Bang Theory, those are a bunch of lies. Because, like I said, there's no way that these things could come into an order unless they were engineered by some form of higher intelligence. There's no way. If you come across, if you come into even uh, uh, Einstein, who you Negroes claim y'all y'all don't think uh, think much of, but I see a lot of people putting Einstein up, these so-called conscious people putting up Einstein, a white man, yet you said the white man was the devil. But anyway, he even acknowledged that there was God. There was God. Because he was talking to a fellow scientist who was a quote-unquote atheist one time. He had a conversation with him, and he said, you know, there's there, – um, he said that um, God didn't believe, the scientists didn't believe that there was a God. And he said, okay, well, what about the – he said, I'm going to give you an example to prove that there is a God. He said, if you walked into a room, right, and he said the room was cleaned up, the cl- everything was in order. And the first thing you're going to think is someone did that. Somebody cleaned up the room. You're not going to think that the room was not clean. If I, he's like, in other words, if I walked into a room and I asked who cleaned the room and I said nobody, you're, gonna, you're not going to believe that. You're going to believe that somebody had to make the bed, put the books on the shelf, do all the things they had to do in the room, sweep out the room and everything. You're going to believe somebody had to do that because based on the order of the room. That's the same way the analogy he used when talking about the planets and the solar systems and the perfect order they in. Your biological makeup and structure, somebody had to put that in order. That's a reality, not a concept. When I hear all people talk like that, like I said, that's your black Caucasians coming out. That's your Negroes that want to follow the philosophy of the white man, then turn around and claim Egypt and call themselves Sekhmet and uh, Amenhotep and all these other names. They want to call themselves, but then they want to 
Uh, it's talking about God is not real. That don't even make no sense. That doesn't make logical sense. I said we deal with God in the state of mental based on logic, not belief, right? Based on acknowledgement, real acknowledgement, intelligence, logically, because all things God deal with has to make sense. If it doesn't make sense, then it's not of God. It's of the false gods in religion where they got to get you to believe in stuff. And those people seem more like they are following the religion because they believe in philosophy because that's all religion is, is a philosophy made up by men. Now, like I said, if you're saying that men made up the philosophies in religion, you understand, like Christianity, Islam, and Judaism, where they, folk, where they basically um, shape the whole belief system around some men, then I, I'll go with you on that. I'll go with you, but don't say nothing, don't sit up and say nothing stupid like there's no such thing as God or there's no God. That's false. That's not even realistic. Right? That's not even realistic. We're going to get into that tonight. I am the intellectual new Ben Menkares, and this is State of Mental Radio, and tonight, the big lie that God is the made-up idea of mankind. Like I said, these Negroes in the conscious community sit up here and talk about, oh, white man came up with some God. Yeah, the word God. And I said the word God uh, and all languages come from God. All languages come from Amun. I don't care if you call him Amun, uh, Allah, no, even though the true name is Amun, right? But all these hidden names, because God is really nothing but a title, like king, like lord, like anything. It's a title. But the true name of God is Amun, right? So you got these people. We'll sit up here and say, oh, you know, the whole idea of God, and, you know, there's no, there is no God, right? And I, and I, and these people challenge me on the, you know, on my post when I, because they see me posting all these things up about God. And I said, I only use the name God because that's what people understand as supreme being. People generally understand that name because we're speaking English. They generally understand that name as supreme being or that title as the supreme being. That's why I use the word God. I say all language comes from the supreme being, Amen, God, whatever you want to refer. All language comes from Amen, right? Now, I said, they said this concept and ideas come from man or come from the white man. I said, who put that in his head? Who put the idea of a supreme being in his head? Because even the so-called black man, on, on um, who set up these societies like Egypt and Sumeria and Africa, even the idea or the re the revelation or the revealing of God to man first came to our people. God revealed himself to our people. And we knew of God because we were natural manifestations of God. So God revealed himself to our people first and foremost. These same Negroes that sit up here, these, um, these uh, uh, illogical Negroes, as I call them in the conscious movement, and these metaphysics Negroes, and uh, all these so-called pseudo-intellectuals, they'll sit up here and say there is no God. But then they'll, make, they'll quote references, they'll quote something from Egypt, but they'll start talking about Egypt, and, ha and got the nerve to have Egyptian names, so-called Egyptian or comedic names. And then they'll say, oh, there is no God, but, and that the God is a concept of the white man. What? All our people did back then in uh, places like uh, uh, Egypt and Nubia and Samaria, all they did was talk about God. They referred to God or the supreme beings as the Nitiru, the Anunnaki in Sumeria, and they, all they talked about was these people being celestial beings. Yes, God is an extraterrestrial, one who is not from the planet Earth, a physical man who is from another world. And he came to this world with other people. Advanced people like himself, angels or gods or whatever you want to call them, messengers, intellectuals, pure intellectuals or what we refer to as mentalectuals, they came to the planet and brought and taught man how to govern, how to set up societies and things like that. We were the first ones to set up governments and societies. All right? We were the first ones. So that shows that goes to show you our people were always talking about we come from the stars, we come from the skies, we come from the Nitiru. They were always saying that. So how is God a concept of the white man? We was the first ones talking about God or the supreme being. So how is that a concept of the white man? Then when you ask these Negroes this in the so-called conscious communities and things like that, then they go numb. You understand? You know, 
we already knew we had knowledge of God. We had knowledge of the supreme being. You know? We already had that. We had knowledge that a man walked the planet, right, in physical form who looked like us. And we referred to him as Amun. And the white man took Amun all the way up into today. He kept his name attached to all the religions and sealed their prayers with his name. Amen. 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 Islam. Christianity. Judaism. And Islam, they go, Amin. And uh, and uh, Judaism, they go, Amen. Amen. Christianity, Amen. Now, the, the Catholics, they go, Amen. They're pronouncing the name of Amen right. Right? They're pronouncing it right. But they give it off to the Baptists and all our people to say it wrong. We say amen. And now that name doesn't mean anything to us anymore. But to the Masons and things like that, they know what the name Amen means. They know the power of that name. That's why they hid the name of God. They shielded it. They knew the power of that name and the power to construct in the name of that power. But see, our people, the problem with our people is we trying to go back and tap into Amen in Egypt. That almon and that stage and that time is no more, right? That almon is closed to us. That time frame is closed to us as a people moving in the future. Our people going back talking about, oh, yeah, well, we're trying to go back and get in tune with almon through ancient Egypt. We're trying to do the principles of what they did. Look, that time is closed to us. That has nothing to do with us. That's why I look at these Negroes that's walking around here wearing these Egyptian costumes and whatnot, and I laugh at them. You know how ridiculous that looks? The white man moves on in his societies. He done went from a Roman, a Greek to a Roman to a Norse, a Norse man, all these German, all these. He done went through all these evolutions and constantly building new societies and going elsewhere. Now he's even going on to another planet where he's going to go damn near be a Martian somewhere. He's always moving on. Our people not moving on, right? He, 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 he is up in America. Uh, uh, um, and a whole new society set up a whole new thing, and he's took Amon's name with him and moved forward with Amon's name and left us in the darkness to where we became black people, people with no identity, people with no connection to God, people who had to sit up here and accept his philosophies under Christianity, under Islam, under Judaism, and accept his belief systems in God. And where has it gotten us? Where has it gotten us? It has gotten us nowhere. It has gotten us nowhere. We are disconnected from God. God is a joke to us right now. You got this nigga Meek Mills, this rapper, talking about uh, everybody say amen, church, right? It's a joke now. Amen. He said, I want to thank God for giving me the ability to smoke weed and F women and all this other stuff. That's, that's what he said. You know why they put these people out like this? Because it was a time where they would have censored somebody like this, and he couldn't have been able to say that. But you know why they do that now? Because they want our people to be people who are disconnected from God, and that's happening right now. We are disconnecting ourselves from God while he's strengthening his connection. He pays these rappers to send us down the wrong road. He pays all these people to give us the wrong messages, and we follow them while he's strengthening his connection with God. Mankind, the beast, he's strengthening his connection with God, and you're severing yours more and more every day with him. And then you'll turn around and talk about the white man's the devil. Really? Really? That's why the black man could do what he did the other day. So I'm, I'm going to share a news story with you. Those of you who are in New York City will know what I'm talking about. This um, black man, black man, black neighborhood, not even too far from me, pushing a carriage with his two-year-old son in it, right? Why do these guys run up on him? They, I guess they had beef with the father. Kid, guy, Probably the guy had to be in maybe in his 20s or in his early 30s. And these guys had beef with him. They see him pushing his son in the carriage. They shoot him and the baby, the two-year-old. The, they both okay, but the, the little baby, the two-year-old, got two gunshot wounds in him. And the man only got shot one time. What kind of negative demonic energy would get you to do something like that? Those are people who are disconnected from God. 
our people are becoming more and more degenerate in their uh, uh, in their in their existence on this planet. You understand? They're becoming degenerates. Right? This is real. You listen to some guy like I said, Meek Mill, and all and that. That's that mentality. Right? They're breeding degenerates. The beast pays them to breed degenerates, people who are disconnected from God. Right? See, because when we were connected to God, we carried ourselves by a certain principle, by a certain way of uh, um, doing things. Now we know different than the beast. Hell, in fact, the white man better than you now. The white man got more morals than you niggas now. I'm going to say it just like it is. He got more morals than you. You understand? He got you want to he he governs himself by a better code of conduct than you do. Right? But the black man, y'all don't want to hear that. Y'all don't want to hear that. You want to hear that the black man is God, that the white man is the devil, and that the reason why the black man doing what he doing is because he was led astray by the wicked, uh, the wicked white man, and you know, and he was thrown off of his who he was, and he don't have no knowledge of himself. Yeah, right. Now all this knowledge is in the world. The knowledge is coming. How many of you are picking it up? How many of you are taking it and strengthening yourselves and coming together? How many of you are trying to do the right thing now to come together and bring the collective of all people together? How many of you are doing that? How many of you are standing up in the name of God? Because all you guys who sit up here and talk about you, God, like I said, I saw what you guys did in the 80s. I, I watched you. I watched you in the 80s and 90s sell drugs to our people. All you gods. I'm not saying all of y'all. I'm not saying anybody in the 5% nation. I'm not saying that. But I watched our people who sat up there. And because we refused to separate ourselves from people who were doing negativity, you know, under certain banners and under certain uh, titles, calling themselves God, we watched these people do that. And we said, oh, well, you know, we're free to do negative or we free, we got free will. That's the, that's the cop out you niggas do where you don't want to be responsible. You just want to do what you want to do, which basically means you want to be, you want to be low lives. And you want to have an excuse. You still you are you a god, but you can still live like a low life. You can smoke weed. You can smoke cigarettes. You can get drunk off alcohol. You can walk around with your pants hanging down. You can walk around shooting up the hood. You can sell dope to your people, but you still god. On what planet? On what planet are you god? Basically, you can base you can basically go around and and cause chaos and cause disorder when you're supposed to be the ones keeping the order. That's what God does. That's what God does. He makes himself, the true and living gods who walk in the planet, they make themselves uh, uh, receivers for God's intelligence. And they know first and foremost that the whole point of everything is to structure all people together and keep order. Not promote chaos. Not stand up for stupidity. Right? How can the black man say there is no God? I guess the black man now, there is no God. So he got the excuse to run like a damn fool and just do whatever. You understand? Be gay, be lesbian, you know, just be out here acting like, with the mentality of the beast. You understand? The submentals. Right? I refer to you as the submentals. The people who are under, under the, um, under the uh, frequency of God. You low frequency niggas. I called you that. Low frequency. People who are beneath the frequency of God. The people out here who living for this world. The people who are who claim to be in in reception with God, but they're not out here acting it. They're not out here living it. They're not out here putting the work in. They're not out here trying to come together with this state. They out here uh, uh, for themselves, talking about what they want to learn for themselves. They're not out here trying to spread the frequency. The whole point of being out here is to find our people, to strengthen this reception. It's not about you as an individual. But see, our people miss that. It's not about you because you teach this nonsense that you learned in Islam that God is alone and he has no partners. Oh, yeah? What happened to let us make man in our image and after our likeness? What happened to all these messengers that God sent to talk to these so-called people? Which was, like you said, a concept or reality. 
because you had what they call uh, 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 alien encounters or extraterrestrials coming to this planet talking to men because that's all the so-called angels are. They're nothing but extraterrestrials. Advanced beings coming from out out of this planet, out of this solar system, into this planet, the ones who created this planet to move our people forward. But like I said, if you claim you are in tune with these people, what are you doing toward the evolution of our people? What are you doing? All these people on Facebook, like I said, who sit up here, all these people who sit up here and claim they like the message and what I'm saying, all these people who do that, where are you standing with me in this day and time? Because I'm the only one standing up for the true and the true and living God. I'm the only one doing it, and I can say that I can say that with uh, assurity that I'm the only one doing it. It's not these people in, who talking this Egyptology crap. They trying to tune into some customs of men. I don't care if it's the black man back then. I don't care if it's the black woman back then. Them doing what they was doing back then. That was their custom. God is not linked into customs. God moves on. God evolves. Because God is ever living, and anything that's not living is dead. You understand that? Anything that's not living is dead. Anything that's not, I mean to say, anything that's not changing and evolving is dead. So if people are still doing the same things in religion they was doing 1,400 years ago, 5,000 years ago, whatever, following the same type of people, the gods and whatnot, then you people are following dead men. People are trying to become Christ-like in Christianity. Now you done made it all about Christ. You understand? Some person who never even existed, you done made it all about Christ. When you're supposed to be in tune with God, what happened to God? Or are they teaching Christianity that Jesus is God now? That That's so convenient. You understand? Because y'all really want to follow a man. Or you Muslims, y'all really follow Muhammad. You don't follow no God. So I guess God to you would be a concept of man. Because you people, you so-called conscious people, y'all don't probably came through Islam or came through Christianity or Judaism. And you saw that some men came up here in the name of uh, Allah. See, when they say in the name of uh, God or in the name of Allah, whatever they say in the name of, they mean they are men coming in the name of this image that they're painting you of God. You understand? They're not coming by the power of God. They're not coming from God. You understand? They're not coming from God. They're not bringing his message. They're coming with their own philosophies, their own ideas, which they're taking fragments and bits and pieces from other, uh, other places and putting them together because they want to be leaders. Just like what they was doing in the past, they're doing today, especially the so-called conscious people. they doing that. They get a little bit of Africa, a little bit of Egypt, a little bit of Sumeria, taking things from the old and trying to brush it off and remix it so, they could, so these niggas could set up movements and cause more confusion. See, that's what's going on. To cause more confusion, and y'all falling for it. Y'all sitting in conferences and lectures, hearing these people arguing back and forth about stupidity. Nothing that's going to aid in the evolution of our people. Or or get money. Get money. That's the whole answer to everything. Get money. Y'all got money. You got money. What are you doing with it? Our people got money. All you want to do is just spend it on more stupidity. So it's a big circle of madness. Our people don't want to wake up. You living for this world. You living for now. You not living for the future. You not living for the next. See, because the next is always here coming. It's always coming forward. Min- minute you blink your eye, we in the next world. We in the next dimension. It's at the blink of an eye. But see, our people are not living for that. You living for trying to get give your money to sit up here and work all day, nine to five, or hustle to do whatever you're doing to turn around and give your money to the white man. That's God I said, that's all. When we go out there and we be teaching our people, we tell, look, all y'all doing is y'all just trying to, y'all just sitting up here living, just working and living to give your money to a white man, then you're going to die. That's all the black man and black woman is doing in America. I don't care how much consciousness you got. I don't care how much you talk about you, God. I don't give a damn what you're talking about. Because all you're doing at the end of the day is giving your money to a white man and waiting to die. You're not raising the intelligence of your people. Because that's what you're supposed to be doing if you are in receivership with God. Not worshiping God. You're supposed to be in reception with God. You understand? 
And if you are truly in reception with God, what that, what that means is that you're receiving the intelligence of God. And those of our people who claim they're receiving this intelligence, well, you're supposed to be here. Dr. York said something powerful. I was listening to him last night, old tape he had up there. He said something very powerful. He said, you know, angels are intellect. I mean, it blew my mind. He said, and I have the first time I heard this. You know, what I mean? you know, I was a student of his for years. First time I heard this, angels are intellect. And it all started to make sense in what I'm teaching and setting up the state of mental. Because we're trying to bring about that reception with God collectively as a state of people, a new, a new mind state of people. You have to establish a state of God, the true and living God. Not these false gods of religion. No, we don't believe in God. We trust in the true and living God. See, that's the reception. That's the connection the white man has with God. That y'all are severed. That's why y'all don't got no power. That's why you're not in control of anything. That's why he tells you what to do. And you're going to remain in this condition until you die. There will be no change for you. There will be no change. Because y'all don't want to connect with God. You want to think that you can do it yourself. You want to think that money could get you out of it. You want to think that you can make a deal with the white man. You want to think that all this nonsense that you niggas talk in the conscious community, oh, all we need is some treaties, or oh, all we need is some uh, uh, our, our papers, our sovereignty. All we need is our, uh, 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 what we need, what else y'all need? Some more money, some real estate. Y'all keep talking that. Or, or you know, I'm just, I'm just out here working. I'm, I'm here working, and I'm just gonna work till I die. That's what I'm here for. I'm gonna just live it up till I die. Newsflash: You're already dead. You're just waiting to live. You're just waiting to lay down. The true people, who are supposed to be in tune with God, they're gonna start to light up. They're gonna start to light up and cause that, and that separation is gonna start to take place. You sisters who are women from God, you true sisters, it's going to go off like an alarm clock in you. Your DNA is going to start exploding where you're, it's going to go off like an alarm clock in you. And you're going to be given the space of a half an hour to get to your people, the ones who are in tune, to strengthen this reception. And what's going to happen is when you sit up here and you stay behind, because you're worried about your kids, your family, your husband, your boyfriend, these people who are not in tune, you're going to fall out of tune with them. And then you will die just like them. And you will be forgotten just like them. That's why, like I said, you women in the hood who raising your kids and whatnot, y'all all, like I said, y'all, you look at the black woman raising their kids, you can tell there's no kind of high mental connection, there's no mental uh, uh, connect with God. You can look and the black race and tell there's no mental connection with God. None. You look at our people today. They walk around all dark and dank and just like just uninspired. They not. It's nothing coming through them. It's nothing coming through them. There's no inspiration coming through them. The music, like I said, one of the ways we would express ourselves and bring about the um, bring about that intelligence of God used to be in the music. Now that's gone. You understand? So it's just a straight degeneration. That's what he pays our people to do, to pervert the minds of our people and cause that degeneration of the race to keep that further going so that they can tune in and get the power. And that's what's happening. That's why they're going to stay on top of us. And you got so many of our people who refuse to cooperate because they worrying about their own individual things. they sitting up here asking me personal questions, worrying about personal business and things like that, asking about teachings for themselves instead of worrying about the collective. You understand that? I have to raise a state of people. If you're not going to ra aid in the raising of this state of people, God's people, then you with the other people. You with the mentally dead. Go somewhere with them and die. You understand? Go with the mentally dead and die because this thing will not continue. God's intelligence is going to come on the planet for those chosen people, and those people are going to light up. And those are the people that are going to make a change. Right? The people who are not in tune with God, those are the people who will pass out of the world, and they will be forgotten. They're going to be like the light. It's no different than the energy, right? It's the energy that after a while, 
it converts into something else, but it becomes something lesser. Because if it works the same way when our people are not connected with God, when we allow ourselves to say stupid things like, oh, well, God is just a concept of man. When you just going to – the only only person who say something dumb like that is a person who wants to ignore the reality of God. You understand? Because like I said, for all the people who say this stuff, and I get into this with these people, when I ask them one question, I said, where did all this come from? Where did all the structure and the order and the social system come I never get an answer. Oh, or they'll say something stupid like, oh, it just fell into place. And I'm like, who made it fall into place? Oh, it just fell into place. That's That's a white man's answer. Don't make sense. Like I said, that proves that our people just repeat anything the white man say. Don't have to even make sense. That just shows you that you're in tune with him. He's your God. You're not in tune with the true and living God. Because if you was in tune with the true and living God, you wouldn't even say nothing dumb like that. Yet y'all supposed to be educated. You read all these books. You sucked down all his information. Yet you disconnected yourself from the intelligence of God. That's what it means when it says our people don't have any common sense anymore. Like what your grandmother used to say, you don't have the sense God gave you. What was they saying when they met when they said that? Y'all don't have the sense God gave you. You know why you don't have the sense God gave you? Because you traded it in for the false information of the white man. You traded it in for the false information of the white man. To the point where y'all doing stuff and you don't even realize you're doing it. Your minds are played. Your minds are plagued with all kinds of problems. Your minds are plagued with all kinds of problems. You don't want to admit that you have a problem. A lot of our people are in darkness. The people who can't see the light of God are the people in darkness. When I say the light of God, I mean the people who can't connect to the intelligence of God are the people in darkness, a.k.a. the black race. That's why the white man calls you that. And our people try to stand up for black. Call Africa the dark continent. What do you mean by that? He meant that y'all was the ignorant continent. The people in darkness, the people with no light, no intelligence. All intelligence and light all comes from God, not from man. So stop looking to the Egyptians for a source. Stop looking to the Sumerians for the source. Stop looking to the white man for the source. Look to God for the source. Because God gave all of those, uh, made the connection with all of those people. God is the source of all intelligence, the supreme being, the extraterrestrial, whatever you want to refer to him as, the one who was above this solar system, the one who created this solar system was others. You understand that? That's real. That's not a concept. And I dare anybody to come up here and challenge it as a concept. I got the phone lines open. I posted this everywhere. I want to see all the metaphysics Negroes come up here and challenge God and prove that God is a concept and God is not real. I stand on the um, um, fact that God is real. And that's the problem with our people. This is why they they allow to say stupid things like, oh, God is a concept. Because the people who are representing God, representing these false gods in religion and Christianity and Islam and Judaism, they represent God as a concept of man. So what happens is our people get frustrated with these concepts, and they start becoming atheos, meaning they are against the theory of the theologian who came up with these concepts, a.k.a. the white man, the East Indian, and all these other people that came up with these concepts that were based on a bunch of ignorant assumptions. That's how that happens. That's how religions are made. They feed on the belief system of people. They, they create a belief in your head. They stain your brain, or they brain stain you. They dirty up your brain with all kinds of lies and all kinds of philosophy about original sin, right? They 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 feed they they go against your intelligence. They tell you to stop thinking and start believing. In other words, accept their stories, or else something wrong with you. If you don't accept their stories in Christianity and you ask questions, oh, something wrong with you. You know, something's wrong with you. Black people do this in Christianity, black people do it in Islam, you understand? In Jude in Christianity, or in Israel in the Israelitism school, is Israelitism. Another ism. They do that. You ask them simple questions when they can't answer it, they go into the spiritual junk on you. Oh well, brother, see you're not spiritual, so you don't understand. There's no such thing as spiritual. 
I mean to say, as far as uh, your your uh, um, abstract answers, spirituality means something totally different than the abstract answers you're given. Why don't you just say you don't know? See, your ego won't let you say you don't know. You Muslims, you Israelites, you Christians, your ego won't say won't let you say you don't know what God is. You don't know what God is. That's why you follow men. That's why you follow the philosophies of men. That's why you Muslims dye your beard red to follow up Muhammad and follow how Muhammad did things. But I thought y'all supposed to be about Allah. Or you Christians, y'all want to be Christ-like to follow the man called Christ, an an image that was made up. Or you Israelites want to follow Abraham and what he did and this, that, and the third. But I thought y'all was supposed to be after the order of God, following God. I keep hearing y'all talk about men. Now, people will say, well, brother, you know, you doing your thing, you know, and you trying to come with your concept of God. I said, no, this ain't no concept of God I got. I said, because the people not following me. They following Amon. I always put Amon's name up first. I always put God's name first. I never tell nobody to follow me or make it about me. It's not about me. You understand? It's not about me. I'm just a loudspeaker. That's all I am. I'm, I'm, you know what I am? I'm a, I'm a loudspeaker. I'm an instrument. I'm a loudspeaker for God. That's it. I'm a spokesman for God. That's it. He's the big cheese. I'm just a I'm just a loudspeaker. That's it. The end. There will be no name there will be no mentoriums with my name on them. There will not be no Mencare's mentorium number one. I said Almond Mentorium number one. There will be no me putting my name up next to Almond. No. I said we will collectively be uh um after the order of Almond. There will be no worship of Amen from me because I'm promoting receivership of Amen, the attunement of Amen, because Amen is sending his messages through man via inspiration. That's how we were originally connected to Amen, through the intelligence, through the mind, getting messages to speed up the evolution of the people, to turn them into that God race, a continual road and a journey toward supremacy. But see, our people don't want that. They want to be God now. Are we there yet? That black man got that mentality, that are we there yet mentality? That welfare mentality where you know, if I can't get a handout now, I don't want nothing to do with it. Or if I can't get no money right now, I don't want to work to build no business up. I don't. I, I, I want money. I want fast money. That's why you start selling drugs and doing all the things you're doing. If I can't get a quick fix, I don't want nothing to do with it. And, see the, and, the, and the white man and everybody knows that's how our people are. It's your same mindset when it comes to God. That's why they give you a ready-made God. And they give you a ready-made set of principles that don't make no sense, and you just snap it up and take it. Because it's there for you. You don't have to think. Don't think. Just believe. And y'all just accept it. Y'all just accept it. Y'all just follow the principles and whatnot. Don't have to make any sense. You understand? Everybody, like I said, our people don't even look at it nothing to make sense anymore. They don't look for God to make sense. Yet God gave you senses. You understand? Well, okay, I have a question in the chat room. Uh, Newbin, tell us what SOM membership is about. SOM membership is about the collectiveness of the coming together of our people as a new race. A new race away from the black race, those people who are in darkness, uh, coming together collectively because we're saying that the state of Mentel in this new millennium is a new collective, is a new state after the order of God. It is the governing of a new people, a body of new people who are being responsible for themselves, who are becoming, who are coming into them, themselves, who are becoming members not just saying they members, but actually becoming physical registered members of the state of Mentel, a community, a world community of mentalists, people with strong minds after the order of Amen. That's what we're doing. That's the state of Mentel. It's not a Facebook group. It's not just a radio broadcast. It's a movement coming together, starting in New York, to pick the reception of God. I said that they are, they are all these people who are saying they with me, the state of Mentel is not no Facebook group. There's no I'm a mentalist or I'm following the state of Mentel. Go to the SOM.info, our official site. You understand? Go to, well, 
go to the SOM.info. See, people are coming here, and like I said, people are coming here and cause confusion, right? This is what the state of Mintel is against. Pan-Africanism, Islam, Egyptology, all that nonsense from the background, we're getting rid of that. We don't want that in the state of Mintel. I'm going to tell you something, um, Mr. Noble. Um, we don't want you here in our chat room. All right? We don't want don't post if you if you're going to listen and be in on the chat, that's fine. Don't post anything from your group in our chat room. We're not associated with that. I'm going to say I'm going to call it out just like I'm saying it. I don't post nothing in your groups. I don't want to be associated with anybody that's part of the conscious community. None. So please do not post anything in this group. Don't uh, go somewhere else, set up your radio show, and you can post in there as much as you like. Show me some respect. Show the state of Mintel some respect. Do not come in here and post anything, or I will, I will um, boot you out of here. You understand? We don't want anything in here. So what do you want in the state of Mintel? We want separation from the black race. That's what we want in the state of Mintel. And when I say from the black race, all of you people who are still advocating Africa, Egypt, Islam, Christianity, uh, Israelitism, we separating ourselves and forming a new family, and we moving forward in the future. We don't want anything to do with your black hippieism, your black revolution, because all y'all did was copy it from the white man. We don't want anything to do with that. We don't want anything to do with your black or white race. We don't want anything to do with that. We, we moving away from that. We do our own thing over here. We moving forward. We're not t taking part in any foolishness where people sitting in rooms and cursing each other out on, uh, in rooms or sitting on YouTube and whatnot. This is a real movement that's moving forward, a serious movement that's moving forward. You understand that? We're talking about the bright supremacy. We don't want no black supremacy in here because all your black supremacy is nothing but white supremacy in black space. We don't want it. And I'm going to say it just like that, because if I'm paying for this radio broadcast and whatnot, I don't intrude on nothing you guys do. We told you to stop bringing that black mess in here. We don't want have nothing to do with it. Because all y'all want to do is sit up here and beef with the white man and keep calling him the devil when you really just want to live here in society and beg him. We standing up on our own. We cleaning ourselves up. We cutting the white man and you Negroes off who talking this madness with him, want to keep going back and forth in circles with him. If y'all not moving forward, then just stay, stay away from us. The mentalists are moving forward. We tuning ourselves into the true and living God. If y'all not about that, then don't come amongst us. What are, the requirement, what are some of the requirements for membership activity, Newman? Okay, well, the requirement is you come to New York so we can meet you and decide if we want you as a member. There's no membership online. You have to come to New York. Wherever you are, you have to come to New York. And if we like you, if you go through the – we we ask you a series of questions and whatnot, we see – we, we not find out who you are, your real name, and who you are because we want to know who's registering with us and who's a member with us. Then we um, go through the process of voting to enter you in. We don't just take anybody because they got the same skin complexion as us. We don't want no more niggas with us. We don't want any more niggas with us with their own philosophies and concepts. You understand that? Because all they did was cause confusion. All they did with their black nationalist talk, their Egyptology talk, and all their Islam -like back talk, all they did was cause confusion. And they still causing confusion. This is keeping our people from moving forward in a straight evolution. Keeping us moving in circles in a revolution. So that's what I'm saying. If you truly want to be a member of this thing, if you like what's being said, go to the SOM.info. Go to the SOM.info, and you can read that. Sister Dyra, who is a member, an uh, entered member in the state of Mattel, you go ahead and put the information out. Sister Brittany, all of them put the information out. You know? We're not taking just anybody. You understand? There's no no more, oh, because you black or you look at the same complexion as us. Oh, we taking anybody. We don't want everybody with us. We got standards here. We're not walking around uh, um, unclean. We're not walking around disrespecting our women. You understand that? No, you don't have to pay any membership dues. No, you do not. No one has to pay membership dues. But everybody assists in the building of this movement. 
Everybody assist in the building of this movement, this new movement. We're moving forward in the tradition and the evolution of great leaders as the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and Dr. Malachi Z. York. We're moving forward. My mentors. We moving forward as that new collective in the new gener- in the new millennium. We not taking anything from the past with us. That's a sign of a people who are in tune with God. Because if I hear you talking about Africa, if I hear you talking about Asiatic black man, if you're using the word consciousness, if you're using the word black power, if you're using anything from those old mindsets from the last millennium, then you're not in tune with God. You're in tune with man. You're following their philosophy. We follow in the connection and the intelligence of God, and God produces new things and new people. We bring in something new to the table in the state of mental for our people, the evolution of the bright race that are coming out of the black race. When I say the bright race, I'm talking about the solar intelligent ones, the ones who are in tune with the true and living God. That's what we bring into the table. The mentalians, the intellectuals, we bring in all of that to the table and then some. Through this knowledge, through this intelligence, this higher intelligence, and this higher frequency of intellect, we bringing that forward to our people. Anybody, like I said, we're not interested in the old ways. God doesn't deal with old ways. He don't deal with old people. He don't deal with people who are stuck mentally. God moves forward. God moves on. I'm going to play a little bit of music. Little Eric B. and Rakim follow the leader, a little circa music. All right? The leader is Amon, and we following that leader. We'll be right back. You know what? I'm going to take that back, King Noble. Since you want to sit in my chat room and you want to post your link up in my chat room, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take that back. You are a black man. You are, in fact, a black man. You are one who is in darkness. You are one who is in ignorance. Because you can sit up here. How you can sit up here? There's no such thing as a black man by skin. There's no such thing. Everybody who was calling themselves black, the white man called us black to be the opposite end of his white, his so-called white race. And y'all fell for that. You understand? He takes all the bad things and attaches it to us. And you simple-minded niggas, y'all can sit up here and try to uphold that. He called you an African under the Romans. He called you an African. He called you a black man. He gave you pork and things to eat in slavery, and y'all called it soul food. You took black when he meant it as an insult, and you try to find pride in it. And when nobody's black, y'all, too, y'all, y'all still too dense to get this. Like the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, blind, deaf, and dumb. I agree with him on that. That's the so-called black race because y'all are in darkness and ignorance. Nobody's even black. You don't take a look at your skin. Their skin is brown. Brown to beige. We are brown to beige complexion people. So where does black nonsense come from? Where did this come from? This is, this is what I'm talking about, the concept of the white man. That you try to remix. You understand? This is what I'm talking about. The concept of the white man that you try to remix. You understand? That you want to sit up here and say, oh, well, you know, uh, well, the white man's the devil and whatnot. He's the one that called us African. Because no, nobody back in the nobody nobody back in those times called themselves African. So where did the title African come from? He called us African. That whole red, black, and green thing was contrived here in this country. All this black power nonsense that y'all talking about came from the white man. Because y'all was trying to be the carbon copy versions of his white power. His white power structure. And y'all still blind, deaf, and dumb. You sitting up here, and I done told you, I talked about the solar intelligent race or the bright race, and you still sitting up here talking about we black supremacists. You just can't get it, can you? You just too slow, aren't you? This is what we're talking about. That's why I said there's no connection to people like you. You are truly a black man, King Noble. That's what I'm saying. Those people who are absent from the intelligence of God. These people who are absent. Now you're sitting up here, you're talking about Nibiru. And you're talking about trying to make a connection. Uh, he, he said Armin is a man in the future on the planet Nibiru. And, I, and, and, you, and you're trying to and, – and I said that and – do, is not man traveling to other planets right now? So you don't think God already did that? Man is doing what God already did. Everything that you are thinking, everything that man is doing, the white man, I don't care who it is, God already did it. God laid out the intelligence and sent it to man for him to do it. But see, you don't get that because your world revolves around black power, black national, all that black nonsense. When y'all ain't going to do a damn thing in any black form or any black skin or any brown thing, y'all not going to do nothing. 
but sit up here and keep complaining to the white man and keeping this constant struggle with him. No, we are not black supremacists. You understand? We are not black supremacists. We are bright supremacists because bright has no equal or opposite. Your black race and your white race are your equal opposite. Y'all both sit on the seesaw and balance each other out, and y'all keep going at each other. You black men and black women, y'all want to be the bottom end of the white race. You keep on doing that. You want to be they bottom. You want to be they bottom bitch. You keep doing that. I said it like that. You black men, y'all ain't nothing but the bottom bitches for white men. That's it. Like a whore, like a, like you got a hoe that's the bottom bitch. You understand? Over the, all the other ones, that's all you black men and black women who set up here and accepted that ignorant title of black and African. That's all you did. You allowed the white man to dump his filth and garbage and his concepts on you. And all y'all did was clean it up and put it in blackface. That's all y'all did. And I'm going to tell you something, King Noble. I'm going to go ahead and boot you out of here because I told you do not post anything in my chat room. Don't do that. I don't disrespect your thing like that. Ain't no mystery, God. See, let's show you how ignorant this Negro is. Ain't no mystery, God. That, yeah, exactly. A mystery, God. I just sat up here and talked about the reality of God, but he told me I know ain't no mystery, God. Maybe I should just leave you here and just let you bury yourself in your ignorance because everybody knows you're making an idiot of yourself. You understand? I should just leave you here and let you keep burying yourself saying stupid stuff. Where you get that from? The five percenters? Ain't no mystery, God. Yeah, you're right. Ain't no mystery, God. And that, that real, very real God is not dealing with you. That's why you can sit up here and call yourself a black supremacist in this day and time or talk about still being black. And when it's obvious, no God is dealing with the black race. God is dealing with the white race. Why? Because they know who they are. They're not vibrating off you. They're just using you as their bottom bitch. Sitting up here to keep you keep you suppressed and whatnot, keep you pushing that black mentality, that nonsense, that us against them mentality instead of focusing on what you're doing for your people. What are you doing for your people? That's what you should be focused on, not the white man. That's everything else you want, or going to so-called conscious movements and conscious, getting on the radio and cursing each other out and being part of that conscious garbage. Don't bring that to my broadcast. You understand that? We're talking about the evolution of God in a people. You're not part of that. Yeah, I'm going to get this Negro out of here because he don't serve no purpose. You're not even fun no more, King Noble. Let me boot you the hell out of here. Nobody wants you in here with your black garbage. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. Uh uh. Yeah I, yeah, I hate black people, ignorant black people. Yes, I do. I hate ignorant black people like you. you know what I mean? And like I said, I don't even hate you. I ignore you. You the one came up in here. You the one came up in my chat room. Nobody invited you in here, and you came in to promote. If you come in here to listen, then listen. Don't bring your black ignorance in here. Nobody cares. I should leave you in here and let them just keep laughing at you. You understand? And that, you know, I'm going to tell, tell you something. You sat up here and talked about how Dr. York was talking about you, nigga. Are you serious? You sat up here and talked about how Dr. York was talking about you bringing something new, or are you talking about a bunch of black hippie nonsense that you got from the white man? A lot of you black, a lot of you so-called black conscious niggas, y'all ain't nothing but a bunch of black Caucasians, man. Y'all ain't nothing but the black version of the white man. Y'all ain't no different. Black militant hippies, are you serious? What are you smoking out there in Chicago, nigga? What are you smoking? But that's the mentality. You smoking that guns you got from the white man, right? I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna kick you up out of here, man. I'm gonna kick you up out of here. Yeah, you know, yeah, you're right. I am wasting my breath on him. Yeah, because that's all he came here to be. Is a is a waste of it was a big black waste of time. Yeah, there you go. Dust, exactly. Dust. Bye, King Noble. You know, don't don't come back. Anyway, yeah, I, I, yeah. I just sometimes I gotta let off a little bit. Like I said, I don't bother these people. I'm not interested in. I'm trying to keep a reception going, but there's always a black devil that'll come in. And bring their madness in there. You understand? Because if you was just truly wanted to come in there and listen, nobody's interested in your black garbage. You understand? Y'all niggas all say the same thing over and over and over again in the circle. We trying to move forward in a straight line. It's always some black devil that come in and brings in some, some circular madness from his master, the white man. You know, don't be fooled by that nonsense, that black supremacist talk and that red, black, and green talk. All that's from the white man. You know how you know that? Because there was this white guy. 
who was out. You know, I'm going to show you. It was this white guy. I'm going to find that video. It was a white guy out here teaching about African studies. He had on the dashiki, one of them uh, African headdresses and everything, teaching with a beard, teaching these niggas in New York about black, about black uh, African studies. Hmm? Hmm? Yeah, but why not? Hey, why not? Come from them anyway. They the ones that call you African. They the ones that helped you start and severing your connection with God to y'all sitting up here in 2013 saying something stupid like ain't no spook God, ain't no mystery God. Oh, so ain't no God? Ain't no God? Ain't no God? So who 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 created all this? Where did it come from? Where did it come from? Where did everything come from? That's why I want to know. You know, I want to know where all of it came from. Yeah, I kicked them out. Now, I want to know where everything came from. 423, I'm going to take a call. Yeah. I just, three, wanted to, uh, yeah I just wanted to share with you. You know, like, uh, just if a person was uh, in tune and uh, mm-hmm. they had, like, a uh, surgery or had an accident where they had to get some type of, like, rod or some type of metal implanted in their body, did mm-hmm. you know that that, totally changed their whole genetic makeup. I just wanted to share that with you, you know what I'm saying, just to change the subject a little bit, you know. But uh, Why does that that change the genetic makeup? Because it was was something that wasn't in you at that particular time before, and it's something that's in you now, and your molecules within your body will, will, you know, make up a structure to mimic what what was placed, mm-hmm. and so your whole being is now changed. I just wanted to share that, just to change the subject, because I've said uh, uh, Nova stuff. Yeah, well, like I said, that that was just me letting off because, you know, I, I let sometimes I'll go off on a tangent a little bit, but it's healthy though because it, at least you know it gives me a chance to uh, let you know what the thinking is of people like this, you know. Why they bother to even come here and listen to my broadcast? I would hope you don't listen to my broadcast. Don't respond to nothing I say. Ignore me. Leave me alone. I don't want to have nothing to do. I don't go checking for none of these people. I don't care what they're doing in the conscious community or going on the YouTube. I don't want to be involved. Don't come in my broadcast and doing this. Don't come in and promote. Go on your own radio broadcast and promote your own thing. I don't want you here. And that's like I said, I don't go to none of these conscious things. I don't want to be involved in that madness. So that's all I ask. Don't do that. And as you know, I let it off. I apologize for those of you who are listening out there. I didn't mean to make it a tangent or go off on a tangent about uh, this guy, Noble, or whatever his name is. I didn't mean to go off on that. He just always was trying to be my Facebook friend and all this. I don't want him. I'm not interested in people like you. I'm not interested in being friends with people like you. And yes, I do hate the black race. I do, you know, I, I despise the black race. And when I say the black race, I'm talking about the ignorant ones and our people, of our people who sit up here and do nothing but cause confusion. Yeah, that's the black race, the ignorant one. Got nothing to do with skin complexion like you think it is, because no, there's no such thing as a black person already. That, that whole black thing is a concept for the white man. And they big on talking about, uh, they see, they funny, they like to pick and choose concepts. They'll take one, they'll accept one concept like metaphysics and hippieism or whatever nonsense from the white man. Then on the other side of it, because the white man was calling calling each other hippies first, so if he picked it up and calling his people black supremacist hippies, where you getting that from? You got that from the white man that you said was the right. devil. I mean, see, okay, like well, I said, our people pick and choose. They pick and choose what they want to take from the white man, take off his plate. I mean, to know that he's listening to you and on your blog, you know. Must be that your program is resonating, so you know. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's that is that's a good thing. Mhm. Mhm. Yeah, that's a good thing. I like I said, it'll resonate to the negative people and to the positive people. It don't really matter. It's all about the useful people. Like I said, it's not about negative and positive. I could care less about King Noble. I'm not really mad at him. You know, man. I'm gonna tell you something, King. I ain't really mad at you. You know what I'm saying? I was just using you to just you know as a punching bag to get a point across. That's all. I'm not mad at you. You know, I don't get angry anymore because I know it's people like him that are mentally dead, that are blind, blind, deaf, and dumb. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad talked about people like that, you know, people who you could say it's over and over again. I've been explaining this. I've been explaining it, and I mean I, to the people, I'm clear to the people, any, anybody who got any real sense. I mean, they they, they got they, they acknowledge what I'm saying to be true, and they, it makes logical sense. But to the people who are blind, deaf, and dumb, 
the people who are locked in their own madness and in the philosophy of man, who are following behind the white man, because all these Negroes who talk this nonsense about the white man is the devil and everything is the white man and the black man, this is the black man against the white man and black supremacy versus white supremacy, they really in love with the white man. He's their God. Because he lived there. Anything, you take them out of any circumference of uh, 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 the white man, take the white man out of the circumference, they don't, these niggas, they, 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 they just move in this circle. They really confused. They really got no access to nothing to, to feed on. So you take the white man out of the equation and you say, what are you doing for our people moving forward? Forget the white man. Forget all that, what happened. What are you doing for our people moving forward? They look, they'll look at you like they lost. You know, the right. white man is just a scapegoat, and he's just an escapist route for these Negroes because they want to get you distracted from the fact that they're not talking about nothing. God is dealing with future intelligence of our people. God is real because all the things that come through, the, all the technology, all the higher intelligence that comes through comes through him as a source. Don't come from the black man. It comes. They don't come from the black man. It comes through the black man or the so-called right. black man who is bright. Who is in tune with God? So that's what we're saying. God is a reality, not a concept. Ain't right. no spook God. Okay, Intel. All right. All right. Uh, all right, brother. You know, exactly, brother. Looking for followers. You know, because like I said, you know what it is. These Negroes, the the true intelligence of God is reaching the planet right now. And this message is going to reach my people of the bright race. It don't matter about the rest of the black race. The black race is finished anyway, so they don't even really count. That's why they got to come up in here you like a bunch of black zombies, right? And they got to listen. And I'm like, this is so not on your level, dude. Don't play yourself. Don't listen to none of this. Like I said, Nibiru, Amun, and things like that, that has nothing to do with the Sumerians. The, the, uh, Amun revealed himself to the Sumerians. Amun revealed himself to the Egyptians. They didn't create Amun. They didn't create the name Amun. Doesn't come from there. He revealed himself, and they said that themselves. They said God came to them. They said it. They didn't say we made up God or we created God. They said God walked and came amongst them. Are they liars? They drew pictures that separated themselves from God and said that's where they came from. They say God, they came, God came to them, revealed himself to them. You understand that? They never said, oh, we did, we created God here or we created God there. No, God revealed himself in physical form to them and gave them that technology to build their civilizations, their societies, and governments. You understand? That's real. They always show you where our people had their hands up to the sun and they, was, and they built edifices to gods and goddesses. They wasn't talking about regular people who was amongst them. They were talking about physical people who came from another world into this planet and were communicating and talking with them, a.k.a. the gods, the angels, whatever you want to call them, what they took and translated into religion. You understand? That's what brought forth new knowledge, new society, new structure, new government after the order of God. That's real. This is not a belief. They want you to accept God as a belief. Right? They want you to he, see these people in religion. They just like this guy here. They want you to accept God as a belief, so that way, because when you believe something, you can just throw away a belief and trade out one belief for another belief. That's why they want you to accept God as a belief and not a reality. See, because once you accept God as a reality, once you acknowledge God as a reality and not a belief, not as a concept, then that means the real change is going to take place. And these Negroes, they don't want to really acknowledge God as real because they don't want things to change because they're not part of the future plan of God. That's why they got to stay trapped in talking about some 60s garbage and some old doctrine from back in you know, how many years ago? Hippies? Militants? 1960? Are you serious? Really? Really? This is the stupidity. And like I said, when God's people, God's true people, Amen, God's true people are starting to gather, you'll see all the foolish Negroes come out, all the mentally dead. They'll pop up out of nowhere. I don't even listen to this guy. I don't even post nothing in his groups. I don't want to have nothing to do with these people. But they'll pop up. They'll listen to my radio broadcast. They'll come in chat rooms to cause confusion because they're a bunch of black devils. They work for the white. They, 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 and I'm not gonna, say, I'm not gonna go as far as to call these people agents. You understand? Because I don't play the agent game. I don't do that. You understand? I don't, I don't, I don't play the agent game. But they're definitely in tune mentally with the beast. They're definitely in tune with the submentals. 
they're the ones that keep this black supremacy Africa thing going, and they try to distract you from connecting with God. They want to keep this African garbage going. When all that African nonsense came from the white man. You understand? He the one, the Romans called us Africans. They wanted to get you to, to, to deny the fact that the whole planet is supposed to belong to us. The planet was one landmass, one Pangea. There was no Africa. There was no Asia. There was no Europe. There was none of that. Man started, um, when they started breaking apart, men started calling it that the Romans in particular because they started taking colonies. And they called all the people, just as a filing system, they called all the people in one part of the area uh, Africans. But our people was all over the damn planet. You got certain people that was born in different areas that, who never seen Africa. How you going to call them Africans? That These Negroes, they'll marry that term African onto us as if that's a race, when that's a nationality. But that just shows you the stupidity of our people. You understand? That just shows you. Like I said, our people have to move forward in connection with God, the true and living God. Our people fell out of connection with God because of stupidity like this, because of simple-minded niggas talking about God is a concept of the white man. When I clearly show you, like I said, the ancient Egyptian, all the people they talk about was always talking about God. Now, the Africans, a lot of your African tribal Negroes, they wasn't in tune with God. I'm going to be real. Those black people, those Africans over there, the tribal Negroes was dancing, growing their hair all wild like certain people with doodoo locks on their head. You understand? Those people wasn't in tune with God. You understand? Those Africans beating on drums and and, 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 uh, and doing all kind of uh, uh, crazy uh, uh, rituals and stuff like that, cutting open um, animals and eating heavy beef and all that. Them people wasn't in tune with God. All right? Our people, they wanted the white man want to tell you that those are our people. You understand? Those are not our people. Our people was on the other side in Nubia, the majority of our people anyway. Some of you got that African in you. We used to, because that's why you you, you so uh, uh, um, that's why you so preordained to say there is no God because the Africans didn't acknowledge no God because no God was connecting with them because they didn't build anything. But our people, the Nubians who was on the other side, we was building governments and and, and pyramids and land masses and things like that on a, on a high scale for thousands and thousands of years. Those people were in tune with God because God is in tune with people who build. God is not in tune with a bunch of tribal them jungle dwellers. I said it. God is not in tune with a bunch of tribal jungle dwellers. That's what they want to try to tell us that oh, those people over here in the in the in the, in the jungle in the in the, in the tents in the jungles and the huts, those are the same people that built as the Egyptians and the Nubians and all people who built the pyramids and the Sphinx and set up the first governments on earth. They want to sit up here and tell us that lie that these are the same people. They're not the same people. They share the same skin complexion, but they're not the same people. They're not the same people mentally. That's like me saying, oh, I'm the same as that nigga standing over there on the corner with his pants hanging off his ass because he because we got the same skin complexion. Or me and King Noble the same people. They try to make us the same people because we got the same complexion on the skin. But no, what separates us is our mentality. Some of us have an almond mentality. Some of us have a human mentality. It's obvious people like that, your king, your king nobles, and all these Negroes and that conscious thing, y'all got a human mentality because you after the order of men. We after the order of God. The ancient Kimites, the ancient Nubians, the ancient Sumerians, these people were after the order of God. The white man in America, the powers that be, the elite, who you call the Illuminati, they're after the order of God. You understand? That's why they got you under control, why they got you simple-minded niggas talking about it ain't no God. Because they're trying to distract you. Watch these Negroes. You understand? Watch these Negroes. Watch these Negroes who um, push that nonsense that, oh, the black man is God, but yet the black man. Yeah, that's, that's, that's partly true. You understand? Because, but you're not God if you're not doing nothing for the evolution of your people. You're not God. God does something forward and brings new things and helps to uh, acknowledge and be the beacon for new things coming forward. That's what God, a God does. God don't step here going in circles saying the same thing over and over again. That's people following men. You understand? That's people following a bunch of dead philosophies and ideologies from the last millennia. God's people are the lightning rod for his intelligence. 
You understand? And that intelligence is constantly flowing new. And the white man's been tapping into that intelligence for over 100 years, maybe more than 100, more than over 200 years now. He's been tapping into that intelligence. That's why he's able to keep us in the um, um, keep us in the state we in, where we the foundation and we under him, and he's over us. Because people want to keep this black and white dynamic going. You understand that? Nobody wants to tell our people how we can move forward. Everything is, oh, the white man is this, oh, the white man is that, oh, the white man is this, and oh, and the white man is that. Nobody wants to move our people forward. I'm sick and tired of that. Let me rest my voice. Right. Ain't no mystery, God. you right. Ain't no mystery, God. God is real. God is very real. Amen is real. Amen is supreme. What do I want to play? Hmm. I know what I want to play. Hold on. Let me see. Hmm. Let me see. I'm going to dedicate this, uh, let me see, to your, your noble likes out there and people like you. Let me see. It's perfect for you. Hold on. January 27th in Brooklyn, New York. Come on out to the state of Mintel's uh, The True God Revealed, where we build in the reception to God, the true and living reception to God moving forward into the future. No more of this past talk. No more of this nonsense about God and the, and the metu nete and all this. So look, all that customs and them codes and all that is dead, man. It's not working for our people. So I don't want anybody to know meta and all that. We moving forward with our connection with God. You know? So if you're not about moving forward with the connection to God, then we're not interested in you. We're not interested in no God from the past. The God from the past done changed. God done moved on. And we moving on too. In the name of arm and the true and living God. This for you, King Noble, and your people, who or the black supremacy garbage who talk about ain't no God, no mystery God. Yeah, you're right. This is for you, Sambo Contigo. Sambo Contigo. Naked music. We'll be right back. I want everybody to thank um thank uh King Noble. I want to thank you if you still listen. I want to thank you for being a living example of what I was talking about. I'm not mad at him. And I know people might think I took up too much time focusing and ranting on him, but I, I'm I'm not really mad at all. I thanking him for being a living example of um uh, Blind, deaf, and dumb Negro in 2013. You know, you know how you usually got to go to a museum to see prehistoric things because that's what it looks like to me now when I see Negroes still talking about red, black, and green, and and and, and uh, um and what else and uh, black black hippies and black militants and things like that in 2013. Really, that's the concept of man. So I want to thank you for letting us see the difference in between those who are in tune with God versus those who are in tune with man, a.k.a. the white man who you hate so much. Thank you for being a living example. Don't be mad at them. Be, be, thank you. Thank you, King Noble, very much. I appreciate that. And I'm not even trying to be sarcastic because everything happens for a reason. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm being real. Everything happens for a reason. And I acknowledge that you came at a good time to give be a living example for our people. If you exist for nothing else, as useless as you are, if you exist for nothing else other than to be, you know, for you know, just for folly and just to talk out your head on YouTube, you you came in handy tonight for my broadcast because I needed a living, a live specimen, and you've been that live specimen. Thank you, King Noble. Nine seven three. Nine seven three. You on the Peace, air. brother. How you doing, man? Peace. All right. Uh, I want to thank you again and reiterate what for what you're doing, you know, mm -hmm. my appreciation because <clears throat> as I'm in the process of like, you know, just basically on a daily basis letting go of the old distractions that are stopping me and my own personal evolution, you know, I'm just saying, you know, just starting the process, my eyes are starting to come open to a lot of things and starting to understand a lot of things, especially on a social level mm -hmm. as far as like things that I didn't understand like, for instance, the fact that we are, first and foremost, the trials and tribulations we go through mm -hmm. is Amma's way of preparing us as the elect. Mm -hmm. Because when you understand trials, they're there to perfect your character. We're not supposed to be making up or making a home and setting up permanent housing and camping in this present day bestial system, so to say. You know, at least our focus is not supposed to be there. Our focus should be on coming together as a collective because, like you said, God does the mm -hmm. 
But um, the reason why I call is the question is this right here. The term out of the Bible that says God is love, mm-hmm. I know you deal with revelations, and sometimes I like to think of the whole Bible as speaking futuristic as opposed to how we've been trained to look at it. But just the term God is love, I mean, how does that fit in respect to Amun and the state of Mentel? I mean, it does. It, well, it doesn't because it doesn't. When, okay. Why I say why I said it is because you know that is the preconceived notion of what people think God is. People think that God is all forgiven. This is what they promote in the church that God is all love, all for you know, never has any uh, anger or you know, uh, not thinking. They promote God as more of as an emotional person more than a logical one. These are all, you know, just to say God is love, God is hate, God is this, God is that. When they do that, they're really just trying to promote God as an emotional person. And we as people and who are in the state of mental, we are in connection with God in the future realm. We acknowledge God as a sentimental thing, meaning that God deals with people, deals with everything in creation based on the mental or a high mental concept of logic or a high way of thinking. God don't deal with things emotionally. God deals with things logically, right? So to say God is about love, God is all love, and God is or hate or whatever. That's that's some madness from some man. Some 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 you know they take their ideas on what God is um, based on emotion and things that they're going through, and they try to attribute that to God. But God is on a higher level. God is all mental. Every move that God makes is based on a high mental frequency that's based on a constant future evolution. So. You know that that's not accurate with God. So even un- even the term unconditional love is also um inaccurate. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. Well, again, thank you for what you're doing. Um. I mean, I guess the be- the next best thing is because you point out all the time it's not about me. You know, be- you being an individual and you doing this thing on your own. It's about coming together as a collective. And personally, I'm looking forward to coming to the meeting on the 27th and experiencing mm-hmm. it, you know, God in a futuristic perspective. Because, see, I mean, it came to my mind today, even though I'm not limiting my perspective to this, but I think of Star Trek and sci-fi and things like that. Mm-hmm. You know, when I think of the future, that's just like a, a, a – um, that's like a symbolic telling of, let's say, a future evolution of what you would call the elect mm-hmm. and the elite. Because mm-hmm. you pointed out in another broadcast that it's about the evolution of all people on this planet. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. and the pe- and we know the masses is not included. We're talking about the elect and the elite, those who have evolved. Mm-hmm. along with God intelligence into the future. So more and more I study this and meditate on these. When I say meditate, I mean simply contemplate. I don't mean yoga. I know what um, you mean. I know what you mean. <laughs> contemplate. It's better to say contemplate. It is better. But go ahead. Yeah, exactly. Hey, see, that, that's another change that's going on with me because I'm going to tell you, I came recently from two years of listening to metaphysics and magic, um, you know, YouTube videos and blog talk, and I'm not going to call these individuals names. I'm sure a lot of people know who I'm talking about, but they teach um, lessons on metaphysics and stuff like that and teach about a whole bunch of esoteric philosophy and how that God, if you, like I mentioned in the past, dealing with the Gnostic text is, let's say, this entity that's the Demiurge mm-hmm. and all this other stuff. But anyway, you know, I, what you're saying Basically, I'm coming into a knowledge on a daily basis that God is basically dealing in logic, mm-hmm. mental evolution, higher intelligence, because the yep. more you contemplate these things, the more you'll see how this other stuff was basically a stupid waste of time. Yes. It, it takes a challenge to leave that stuff behind. It takes a challenge to, you know, it's a great challenge. This is like a great challenge to, like, okay, change or die, basically. Yeah. 
Well, that's what you're seeing is a lot of these people are going to go out dying because their their philosophies are dying. So and they can't make they can't convert over. A lot of them can't convert over into this logic of God, this uh, intelligence of God, which is mental. Like they're not going to be able to convert over to that because it's only going to be for the mentally elect. It's going to be for those ones who are chosen by bloodline, who are connected to Amun. These rest of these people who are still talking about Africa and red, black, and green, they're going to die off, man. They're going they they're finished. Like I said, they they they're connected to man. They're trying to get land. They're trying to make deals with the white man. They think all that's going to help. It don't matter. The white man's not dealing with them. The white man's trying to strengthen his connection with God, um, and the true and living God. And these Negroes trying to make deals with him. He ain't dealing with them. Like I said, uh, when our people, at, you know, when I say God deals logically, that's that's factual because what are we? Are we not biological people? Yep, put together so, by supreme intelligence. So if we are biological people and we have senses, God deals with people based on logic and sense, right? Things that make logical sense, things that go in an order, a structured order of thinking. So that's how God is supposed to be dealing with our people, not by doing some stupid rituals or some spiritual nonsense or some uh, abstract ideas. I heard a, a sister going to tell me, she, I, I, I'm, I'm not saying anything bad about the sister, but she, you know, but this is what happens when you got a lot of these Negroes out here with this hippie, black hippie concept. These Negroes sitting up here talking about God is the earth, God is the trees, God is the, all that abstract talk. No, God is not no earth. God is not no trees. The trees and the earth are living organisms that God created, you understand, and this biosphere of a planet called earth. And he stepped into this realm as he created it from an outer realm, so he physically walked the planet as a man. God is a man, not no spirit, not no spook. You understand? Not no uh, uh, abstract figure, not no rock, not no tree, not no uh, ground, no dirt. So, you know, our people need to knock it off with these abstract concepts they got from this hippie nonsense from the white man, a.k.a. the black militant hippies or whatever that we call it. They, 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 call, they call and they sell, you know, whatever madness. And, and the thing is, it's like, okay, you're right. And, and the whole thing is, it's like if you can leave all that behind. And I'm talking about a simple... Like I mean, a serious detox. That's what I like. I, that's the best term I can come up with. It takes a major detox, and the problem is, even on a physical, regular level, or, or let's just say dietary level, mm-hmm. the thing is, most of us don't like the word discipline. To discipline ourselves to just do a simple 30-day detox of just straight vegan diet and straight up water just to get all those toxins out of our system so it's the same thing carries over mentally. Well, the black man need to do a damn mental detox. The black man and the black woman need to do a mental detox. They need That's to detox from Christianity. Is- yeah, Christianity. And we're going to start that in the state of mental before we let anybody into the state of mental. They're going to have to go through a mental detox where they're going to have to renounce Christianity, Islam, Judaism, Pan-Africanism, Egyptology. All people going to have to renounce all that before they come into the state of mental because you're not bringing your old baggage with you. You understand? you got to leave that behind and come brand new. You understand? With that white slate and that, that clean slate, that clean board with no preconceived notions on you in order to receive this intelligence. Because God, Amen, cannot fill out, um, give, give us that intelligence, give us that new intelligence so we can receive that if we come in with these old preconceived notions. And that seems to be the problem with a lot of our people. They don't want to let go of these old ways of thinking that they got from the man. I don't care if it's from a black man. I don't care if it's from a white man. I don't care who it's from. I'm not interested in any knowledge dealing with any history and whatnot because history is past and prologue. We into the future of this thing now. We're trying to connect to the future of this thing as a uh, as a future intelligent race of people um, coming out of the black race, coming from amongst the mentally dead, going into the future as the bright race or those solar intelligent beings, that mentalist co- um, collective or those mentalians. We breed a new race of people on this planet moving forward. These Negroes who can't get, get along with the program to get out of our way, man. We're not interested in nothing you're talking about. So, Brother, I'm starting to see it on my job, too. Even, like, people, I'm not trying to get, I, I, I'll just say humans. You mm-hmm. know, because I'm starting to see the difference between the. It's like when I look at it, some people can't even look me in the eyes when I, and all I'm doing is just doing, just being me. You know, but a lot of things are starting to come clear. You know, it's like when folks separate from you and stuff like that. But 
anyway, I was brainstorming lately on like you know a business I could go into. Uh, that, well, well, but know, we got we got to get into it. we can get into it uh, on the next broadcast because I'm down to ten minutes. I got to do the final questions. I'm so sorry, call brother. Back. I'm sorry. No, no, it's no ahead. problem. It's no problem. Thanks, it's no problem. Thanks Let me, for your was, time. All right, you're welcome, brother. See you. Uh, see you on the 27th. All right, peace. All right, peace. All right, let me get to these last questions on the thing. You know how we usually do it, you know, so we can, uh, you know, make sure I covered everything. Like I said, um, we have I put that picture of Armin up in the window to show that our people always acknowledge God. We always acknowledge God. Uh, before the white man, while he was in the cave, we acknowledge God because God made Himself known to us. You understand? We are the bloodline descendants of God. We are connected to God. So how are we going to stop here and talk about God or the supreme being as a concept for the white man? That's the stupidest thing I ever heard. These Negroes need to go somewhere with their white man philosophies. Anyway, is God a concept or reality? Reality, of course, because if you're going to tell me God is a concept, then you tell me who put all these things in order, who created all this stuff, who put the order and the biological structure of man together. And if you tell me it's you, then I'm going to ask you to do it again. Or I'm going to ask you to do something small like get our people out of this conditioning and take us to a new homeland and where we could set up and do something else if you if the black man is God. If y'all not doing it, I don't want to hear you eat your God nonsense no more. Just get, get get in line and start trying to grow as God and accept God's power coming through you and start growing and coming together collectively so we can be raised as God, all right, as supreme beings, as that almond race. Did God create man or did man create God? When I'm talking about the story, man, God created man. Man did not create no concept of God. We need to get it right. All right, we we reject the theologians' mentality, they they philosophies and they they theories and things like that, and they assumptions, they ignorant assumptions they made because that's all y'all going on. Whenever y'all dealing with this metaphysics and all that nonsense, that's it's talking about it's a science. It's no science. It's nothing but theories. Like I said, God is way deeper than your theories and your science, your ideas of what you think He's doing because God is constantly evolving the thoughts of the people. Is the black man really God? Not if you are not. No, the black man is not God because the black man, by even calling yourself a black man, you're saying that you are and you've accepted the concept or the philosophy that your skin is black and that you are part of a black race when that was really meant to be an insult for a people who are ignorant or disconnected from God. Right? The white man is in tune with God. That's why he puts up there in God we trust. He took our connection with God and made it his own. All right? He took his, our connection with God and made it his own. So, and he called us the black race because we now are in darkness and we have no idea who God is. So we are in a we are in a mental darkness. So yes, we are black people mentally. No, well, they are. We not. Right. We are the bright race mentally and physically. Right. That has nothing to do with any color, any skin complexion, or that nonsense. People now saying. Uh, why are some people now saying that God is a concept of the white man? Because that's the ego of our people. We don't want to acknowledge that God is real because that means that we, we've always been fed God as a submissive type of people or a submissive thing. So that ego in us builds up to where we want to fight the submission. I understand that. We don't, want, I, we don't accept God through any submissive form. We accept and acknowledge God through a transmissive form or a transmission. We're not in submission to God as mentalists. We are in transmission with God as a higher and evolved race of people. We're supposed to be receiving intelligence from God via transmission. Mentalists, mentalists, intellectual connection, mentally. What does this mean to the future of our people? This means the future evolution of our people is a bright race of people out of the black race in connection with the true and living God, Amen, as the Amen race, as the Amen beings. That's what this means. So I've answered all of these questions. I've answered all of these uh, things. January 27th, join us. State of Intel, True God Reveal. Wow, I answered these really fast. I'm going to have to. I thought I would have been down to like a few minutes, but, you know, I answered. I was trying to go through it because I figured I had like a maybe. Uh, I thought I would have had a few more minutes left. Let me relaunch the uh, the uh, chat room. Because I think it went out. I got to re relaunch it. Okay. January 27th in Brooklyn, New York. January 27th in Brooklyn, New York. The state of Mentel is a true God revealed. Come join the reception. Come join the true reception of God. This is, ain't no, relig no religion. You know, no religion. No more belief. No more, uh, 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 no more uh, concepts. 
like we've been doing in Christianity, Islam, and Judaism, no, or Israelitism. We ain't doing no more beliefs, no more customs of men that we following. We are just focused on the straight connection and reception of God logically as those biological forms of those biological beings who are supposed to be receiving or in reception with God. We're supposed to be receiving the intelligence of God here on earth in physical form. God who has moved into the future and who is constantly in motion, you understand, through our bloodline, through our children, through our ascendants, all right? This is how we are connecting with God. God lives in those who are the elect, and we're going to give birth to that God race because we are connected as that God race, as we are coming in tune with the true and living God, Amen. We are that Amen race. We are those Amen beings, not part of the human race. So let me see what we're going to close out with. Uh, it's been a good night. Hmm. What do I want to close out with? I'm going to close. I'm going to travel out with some good music. Let me see. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do something different. <laughs> Let me see. I'm going to close out with the Superman theme. Because God is the true and living Superman, and we are raised in a super race, a supreme race of people, right? It's closing out the old Superman theme. Because the whole Superman story, if you know the knowledge on the Superman story, that's really talking about our people. That's talking about the bright race, the almond beings, that whole Kryptonian thing. That's talking about us. That's on Superman's um, um, shirt, which I showed you and I revealed was really a serpent, right? Which was with the pharaohs wore their crowns in Egypt, right? So I'm going to close out with the Superman theme to represent a super, ring, a super race of new people coming up, the almond race. I am the intellectual new Ben Minkare. This has been State of Mintel Radio. Good night. It's the Republic of Mental rising out the black race to the white race, out the black race to the white race. It's the Republic of Mental black race to the white race. If it's hell, I'm in, then it's hell us. They tried everything just to spell us. Fed us religion, gave us fake gods. Through all of that, we beat the odds. Now we coming together under one flag. Colors red, gold, and blue. Superman, Superwoman, that's me and you. The infinite capabilities that we can do. 